Today, we're going to look at how to create rules and reminders for Microsoft List items. If you stick around to the end, I have a bonus tip for SharePoint document libraries. I have navigated to Microsoft Lists and opened my Work Progress Tracker as an example. In the ribbon at the top of the screen, you will see an Automate option with two choices, Set a Reminder or Rules. The Set a Reminder option is based off of any date column that you may have in your list. If you navigate to the Automate menu item and don't see Set a Reminder, it might be because the admin for your organization has not implemented this feature. When you click on this menu item, you will see options for every date column that is in your list. The more date columns you add, the more items you will see in this dropdown. In this example, I have to review all of my documents at least once a year to make sure they are still accurate, so I'm going to use the review date column. An information pane is going to open up on the right hand side of the screen and here you can see that we're going to get an email reminder based on a scheduled flow type. So what's actually happening here is Microsoft has built in some templated Power Automate flows and if you open Power Automate you will be able to find them in the My Flows section. But rather than having to create it myself, all I have to do is click on continue and then the flow is going to automatically send me an email reminder for the number of days in advance of whatever is in the column that I picked. So for example, I want to be notified three days before my document review is due. And then I will click create and the flow is completely set up in the background. The thing to keep in mind is when you use the set a reminder from the automate section is it's only going to send the email to you. If you need to customize the email to go to somebody else, you're going to have to do that yourself in Power Automate. Let's go back to the automate menu item and look at how we can create some rules. These are going to be a little more flexible because you can specify more than just your name when you create the rule. The four options we have is to notify someone when a column changes, a value changes, a new item is created, or when an item is deleted. The most common one I see used is when a new item is created, but we're going to go over all four options. We're going to start with when a column changes. The create a rule dialog box is going to walk you through what you need in order to create this rule. So in this case, it's telling us we need to choose which column it is that is going to change. I'm going to click on category for this example. And then all I have to do is choose who is the email going to go to. Now, when I click in this field, list is going to give me some suggestions assigned to, created by, modified by, or me. If none of these options are what you want, you can simply type in a name and choose somebody from your global address list. So in this example, when the category changes, an email will be sent to my supervisor. And then all I have to do is click create. And now we are at the manage rules dialog box where we can modify the rules we've already created or create additional rules. The one thing I want to point out right here is that you can only create up to 15 rules per list. Let's click on create a rule one more time and look at when a column value changes. And just like before, lists is going to walk us through the necessary elements. Let's choose a column. I'm going to say progress, then a condition is, then choose a value. I'm going to say behind, and then I'm going to say who's going to get the email. So when the progress is behind, send an email to the person in the assigned to field to give them a gentle reminder about their task. We're going to go back to create a rule. And now we're going to look at when a new item is created. This rule is very fast to set up because all you have to do is specify who's going to get the email when the item is created. In this case, I'm going to say send the email to myself and then simply click create. Now, when we go back to create our last rule of when an item is deleted, it's exactly the same. We specify a name and then we click create. Now we're going to take a brief look at the manage rules page. From here, you can see all of the rules that you have and turn them on or off as needed. 
If you want to edit a specific rule, you can select it and then you can change the conditions of the rule, add additional people, or even delete it if necessary. Whenever you're done making your changes, click on save. For the promise bonus tip, I've navigated to one of my SharePoint sites and we're going to look at a document library on the back end. When I click on that, you will notice that the automate function for setting reminders and rules now apply to document libraries. Originally, this feature was only developed for Microsoft Lists, but now with document libraries, you have all the same choices. The one thing that you need to keep in mind is that you can only have 15 rules for an entire document library. Where I work, some people were concerned that 15 rules was not going to be enough for an entire SharePoint collection. What we did verify is that if you click on the new drop-down menu and select document library, you can create additional libraries and each one will have its own set of 15 rules. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.